Hi everyone, so I'm doing this new series as a gift for all of my subscribers because Valentine's Day is coming up and um, I know that a lot of people enjoyed my Rahu and Ketu series, um, the North Node series that I did a few years ago because I don't always only make astrology videos. But I thought that this time I will make, um, you know, some fun videos on how we do relationships according to astrology. And if you are interested in a certain person and you know um, what sign they are, even if you don't, you know, you have an idea of their birthday, you can find it out, which I'm going to show you how in this video as well. Um, and then you can find out what kind of relationships they like, how are they in relationships, even though perhaps you haven't um, had like very in-depth um interactions with them you know you don't know how they are in relationships astrology can give you hints into that um, and in today's video i'm going to be describing mainly four things to you um, which is their approach in relationships what are they what is their approach and values um, what they like what kind of relationships they are into what kind of women men people they like their ideal partner you know what are they attracted to basically um, what not to do with a person who has that sign um, and also ideas about dating about what kind of dates to organize or um, if you're not the one organizing what kind of dates might they like or how they like to be romanced um, what they like in partnership so these are the four things that i'll be discussing with you today <laughs> and i hope that you enjoy this series i hope that it's going to be fun for some of you out there um, and um, right after this, um, by the way, there's going to be time slots below this video. So, um, you know, there's in the beginning, I'm going to show you how to find these signs if you don't know if you're a complete beginner. But if you know, um, you know, the sun, moon um, and rising sign, sun, moon and rising or ascendant sign basically of the person. But most importantly, their Venus sign as well. Um, so if you know these details, then you can skip to... Um, to whichever sign you want to watch like you know if you're looking for Aries then you jump to that to that <laughs> or whatever sign it is then you just jump to that video basically and you can watch the videos for all of these signs so if you're interested in a person um, watch the video for their sun sign for their moon sign for their rising or ascendant sign um, as well as their Venus sign and especially their Venus sign make sure to watch that video and even if you don't have a person in mind you can watch it for yourself so you discover more about how you do relationships. So go to your own chart and find out what your sun, moon, rising are and especially where your Venus is and watch the video for that sign or those all of those signs. Um, if you enjoy what you hear today, then I have all kinds of astrological services. I've even added new ones. I have two readings that I, that I do that are perhaps, you know, one of the most popular um, services on my side that I've got the most um, uh, orders for are my astrology services they're related to relationships about finding out how you do relationships you know things and patterns that are hidden and subconscious um, which come in the way of forming like these relationships that are balanced and that are going to fulfill us um, they also reveal what kind of relationships we attract so it goes very very in depth <laughs> looking at your chart which is beyond even the birth chart because there are other charts in astrology that reveal you know a more in-depth insight so I also do relationship matching so that you can find out how you relate to your partner or someone you're interested in, what kind of dynamics there are and, you know, suggestions on how um, how you can work with those as well and how you can empower yourself within them to improve the relationship. And then finally, I have life purpose readings where you can find out about what your life purpose is, you know, at a spiritual level, at a physical level. So again, it goes very in-depth and beyond the birth chart. So you can find all of those details on my website. The links will be below this video. And now if you want to find out what all of your signs are or the signs for the person you're interested in, then I will take you through that in this short clip um, right now. And if you know what the signs are, then please just jump straight on to the right video within this playlist. Okay, so how do you find where your sun, moon, rising sign or ascendant, rising and ascendant is the same thing. So how do you find what those three are for you or the person you're looking, um, for you're inquiring about? And also, where is your Venus sign or their Venus sign, which is really important to find? Um, so in order to find that, you go to astro.com. So just, you know, go to your browser and type astro.com. 
then you will arrive at this page and here you'll see my astro so this is the one that we want to click and then after that you'll get to a page like this um, i already have some uh, some data mentioned here for people for myself and other people that you know i know um, so if you are a first time user you're going to need to um, add new astro data over here so you add your name you don't have to use your full name um, if you don't want to you know put out that information on the internet just use like like i would use an s for my name because my name is shruti um, you don't need to put the last name and uh, gender you can just put whatever it's not really going to affect the results um, your birthday of course you everybody knows what their birthday is um, and then the hour so um, when you put the hour let's say you don't know the um, you know you put a time and it's like 15 minutes off here and there or um, you know even more than that the sun sign is still going to come out accurate and um, Let's see what are the signs are there. So the Venus sign will also be fine. So you can check for your sun and Venus sign if you don't know your birth time or the, or the person's birth time. Um, and to some degree, you can even check for the moon. The moon um, would be accurate unless it's changed into another sign on that day. So the moon changes signs every two and a half days. And um, that would change if you, know, you have entered the wrong time and it, it was changing on that day. <laughs> they change from one sign to another. Um, but to some degree you can get the moon, but the ascendant sign or the rising sign, um, that will be completely off if you don't know your birth time. So, um, you know, put in an accurate birth time, the time that you have on your birth chart in order to get um, proper results. Otherwise, just check for the sun sign and the Venus sign and to some degree the moon sign you can also check and see if it resonates. Um, so we put that here, we put it by the minute if we have that information. Um, and then, of course, you put your country and, um, you know, you put your country and then after the country, you put the place here. So, if, for example, for me, if I put India um, and I put New Delhi, it should show up like this. It will show me the coordinates. It will pop up. Now, if it doesn't do that, let's say you've come from a smaller town, um, then just go for the nearest one, the nearest big city close to you. And um, then after that, you need to click on that and then, you know, press continue and it will generate the chart. So since I already have my information, I'll show you um, my chart. So this is mine because it's fed, you know, the I'm a, uh, I logged in. So my details are already here. So I'm just going to click on this and um, it's going to show me. I go on the chart drawing of the ascendant once I sign in uh, and that's the one we want. So we just click on that and it shows me my chart right over here. So here you can see in this table, it has all the signs. My sun is in Libra, my moon is in Aries, my Venus is in Scorpio, and the rising sign is over here, AC, Ascendant. So you will find it below this table, Ascendant, Cancer. So these are the basically the signs that you want. Be sure that you also check for the Venus sign, not only the sun sign and the moon sign and the Ascendant or the rising sign, but the Venus sign is going to be important for this video. So that's basically all you need. Um, once you have this information, just write it down on a piece of paper. Um, and you can do this for whoever you're checking it for or yourself. Um, and then, you know, just watch um, the video for all of those signs. Okay, guys, so what are Capricorns like in romance and in relationships? So you could be watching this if you are a Capricorn yourself or you have Venus in Capricorn. Um, but also you might be watching this if someone you're interested in has Venus in Capricorn or is a Capricorn, Sun, Moon or their rising sign is Capricorn. Um, and if it's their Sun, Moon or rising sign that is in Capricorn, then this is how they are generally going to be. These are going to be their values. Um, uh, not values, but this is going to be sort of their personality, let's say. Um, and so perhaps part of their personality, you know, will be reflected in their relationships. But if they have Venus in Capricorn, then this is the type of person that is what I'm going to describe to you is the kind of person that they are looking for. This is what they're most magnetized to, what they're attracted to, what they find sexy as well. So when it comes to Capricorn, their values um, in relationships, it's all about um, preservation. I have some notes here that I'm referring to, so don't mind if I look down. Um, so their values are about things that last long in the physical world, basically. 
so it's about preservation they value you know hard work and perseverance and um, they have this innate knowing that things that take time are going to be better somehow they're going to be they're going to have more quality because they have been time tested you know so they are built to last in that sense um, so they take their time capricorns take their time especially if a person has venus in capricorn they might be taking time in relationships they usually they're not the ones that are going to just jump straight in and be all crazy and stuff it's an earth sign which means that it's practical it's um, a little bit more slow moving but at the same time when they commit it's um it's one of those signs that can commit for life you know that is the most long lasting because it's the sign of old age and maturity so um yeah it's basically very long lasting so um if they go step by step and they go slow um but um once they give their heart then that's it you know they're in it if a person has venus in capricorn um then this is the type of person that they would like so they like a person who is sensible they like a you know these more classic roles is usually what capricorns like like you know the established career man or the woman who is um who has this more life wisdom she has this simple wisdom she's patient um you know usually a little bit more traditional is very organized and is able to put structure to things so if the person who has venus in capricorn is more attracted to someone who is more has a more feminine energy or is female or whatever uh, that they might be looking for someone who is a good organizer of the home um a good organizer of just everyday activities you know someone who is patient who is organized who is sensible who has this simple life wisdom and knows how to apply it you know they they are able to put a good structure basically to to life and to um the home and perhaps even follow um more traditional values or um values them you know knows how to implement them um if a person has um venus in capricorn and they're looking for more more of a masculine figure in their life as their partner then they might be attracted to someone who is a more established uh, person in their career you know like someone who's doing well in their career or at least at um you know is is stable is like on that path <laughs> someone who is reliable so capricorn is the sign of responsibility and reliability so um anyone who has venus in capricorn is looking for someone who is stable who is reliable someone that they can trust um and again you know um they're looking for quality and they're looking for quality in whatever um they value so sometimes that is money that is the more traditional um you know their form of stability can be related to money so someone who is well established in their career they know that this person has a stable job you know um so i have this security this material security because of them so they might be attracted to such partners or sometimes because capricorn is also related to wisdom it's like this earthy wisdom that is there um and so they you know their quality might be might come from um attraction to a partner that is very mature you know that is sensible um so it doesn't have to relate to money but it's like a quality again good quality partner um so they're looking for people who are mature you know who have this this um reliability and a sense of responsibility to them usually these people are going to be sensible these people are going to be good with handling money or business like they're good managers of money or business um and not somebody usually who's a spendthrift if a person has venus in capricorn or even if you know sun moon rising in capricorn usually they express their love um through practical actions um so rather than you know these crazy romantic gestures and sweeping you off your feet and taking you on these um dates and being spontaneous and all um their expression of love will be showing up when you um will be showing up every day basically and showing up when you need them it's like this um it's a sense of like responsibility like you can rely on them um so they will be providing you with physical security <laughs> with practical material security in whatever way that is it's not always money like i said it could be um you know providing that stability of the home if they are somebody who is more focused on the home has a more feminine quality let's say um but it's it's something that you can keep coming back to and you can rely on them and um 
you just know that within so that is how they show love by showing up for that in little ways and constantly being there so like i was explaining before usually if a person who has venus in capricorn they want the best like they want maturity in whatever it is their values are there they can be quite picky um, so again this doesn't have to mean that the person is very rich or uh, very very well established in their career but someone who is stable again you know they want that stability um, and established basically they should be established in whatever it is um, that they consider valuable and um, Capricorns um, or if you have Venus in Capricorn the person who has Venus in Capricorn they like people who are powerful um, but in this more understated earthy way for example people who have Venus in Scorpio might like people who are very emotionally powerful very um, you know magnetic and um, they have this um, power about them that relates to like emotional empowerment whereas um with capricorn they want someone again who is powerful in the sense of very established and mature they are very mature at whatever it is that they know whether it's in their career or it's in this more um, practical wisdom of um, organizing things so if you want to take out a person um, on a date who has Capricorn in their chart, strong Capricorn, um, or has Venus in Capricorn, then what they might enjoy is like, let's say you're going to a restaurant or whatever it is you're doing. Um, it it can be a brand that is established, like, you know, if it's a restaurant, then it's a well-known restaurant that is more classic. You know, they like um, classic, they like something that has proven its worth, you know, that has been there. So it can be something that is simple. It doesn't need to be over the top. It doesn't need to be necessarily very expensive, but there should be quality, something that is time tested, um, something that is established, you know, again. So um, if you're gifting them something, then again, it can be from a brand that has quality that is established. Again, doesn't always have to be expensive, but there's that... Um, you know you can rely on it you know this is what capricorns like that i can rely on this i know that i'm going to get quality from this um so again the place you go to or the gift you give them it can be understated it can be even minimalism like a lot of people who are who have capricorn um, strong in their chart can be into minimalism um you know it's about um it's not about collecting a lot it's about taking what's there and um, sort of using that you know having creating that one thing that is of high quality um, even if it's simple it's not very flashy it's not very good looking but at the same time it has this quality it's going to be long standing it's going to um, you know survive <laughs> like the test of time basically that is what they're interested in so um, so a gift like that <laughs> you know that means that to them is something that you can buy something that is of quality something that is established um so again it can be simple but is long standing has this proven quality about it um and then how when you are relating to them and you're talking to them let's say then show them that you are reliable how have you been reliable in your life something that you have accomplished you know um uh talk to them in a way that shows them the parts of you um reveal the parts of you where you have been um there for the long haul you know where you have been reliable show them that you are a responsible person if you are <laughs> and um, that is something that they are attracted to if a person has venus in capricorn i forgot to say um you know they like people who are mature and they sometimes or a lot of times are attracted to partners that are older as well they don't mind that they don't mind someone who's older as long as they are mature and they have that wisdom they have that reliability they have seen life you know and gone through it and they have that um, practical wisdom um, and because of that they can be relied upon and they have sort of built this structure in their life um, it's like a structured life you know again there's dependability and reliability that comes from that so they do enjoy that so if you want to keep your capricorn then here are some things that you shouldn't do and um, number one would be don't make fun of their achievements because again usually you know the sign of capricorn wherever we have it in our chart like let's say if it's venus and capricorn then our relationships get better with time like usually they start off with uh, seeing a lot of problems in their relationships um, if it's their sun in Capricorn, it might be their career and, um, you know, their reputation in the world that has taken time. They've gone very step by step because that's the sign of Capricorn. Wherever we have it in our chart, 
um, we don't get that thing very easily we are it's like you know all of the problems are revealed to us and it's very step by step it's like you know someone who started from rags and then um, became this really powerful figure or very established so they have gone through that quote unquote hard work you know they it wasn't just handed to them so if it's their venus then they've done that in relationships if it's their moon then they've done that emotionally so um so the sign of capricorn really values that and um, if you make fun of their achievements um then that is something that you know that can put them off because it's they've taken it's taken their whole life and um capricorns notice how for other people you know it might be quick um uh, those the same things in that area of life other people get it quickly but at the same time for them it has taken a long time so if you make fun of that then that can be um something that puts them off and um another thing that capricorns don't like is um people who are lazy <laughs> if a person has venus and capricorn especially um sometimes like if if they are very capricorn strong then they might be attracted to people who have a different opposite quality you know who are a little bit more laid back or whatever because opposites do attract but when a person has venus in capricorn that means that they are looking for a partner who is capricornian in nature they don't have to have the sign capricorn but they have those qualities so if they have venus in capricorn they're not going to like someone who is a slacker basically you know um is lazy and um just not organized they also may not like someone if they have venus in capricorn who is who goes for like quick fixes and like these short term gains and doesn't value perseverance hard work loses patience very quickly that type of a thing um so don't be someone that they consider to be too rebellious or too unreliable you know something that they can't trust like they like their structure um they like this um set method that is there that has worked that has proven that it's worked and they like to sort of follow that path so if you are someone uh, who comes into their life and you bring in that energy of chaos um and and they have venus in capricorn which means that they are attracted to and their relationship values are about that stability then that is again something that can throw them off um and make you feel like make them feel a bit insecure and they really value security because it's something usually that they didn't have in the beginning So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if it resonated with you. If I missed out anything um related to Venus and Capricorn or Capricorns in general how they are in love and romance, then write it in the comments so that all of us can learn from that. And do consider subscribing if you're new here. Give this video a thumbs up because that helps me out a lot and I will see you in the next video and don't forget to watch um you know the other signs because all humans whether you're watching this for yourself or someone you're interested in they're going to have other signs their sun moon um rising sign as well as their venus so you can watch those videos as well um and of course you will find that on the playlist that I'll put up here it'll show up here or here somewhere so thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video